Hi everybody, this is Zach Rosette. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take the pool template that comes with BuildBox, and I'm gonna show you how to make it into a cool little golf mini game. Now, if you like this video and you think it's useful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out my website, mrbuildbox.com, to see all my available courses. All right, let's go ahead and let's check out how I built this game. So first off, let me just refresh this. So you, this is the pool template right here. It looks really familiar. I have the camera shift up so that you can see where the hole is. You might want to do that for some of your longer holes and then it shifts back uh, so it follows the character and then you just pull back and uh, you've got three tries to get it into the hole and you want to go down the slope it'll slope down into the hole and then you win the game. And then let's say you don't make it in the three tries. Well, the, on the third try, you have three seconds to get it in. And then after three seconds, it's going to explode and it's gonna be game over. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and I'll show you how I made this. Okay, so first let's go over here to the home page and let's go over to the template page and let's grab our pool template. We're gonna start off with that and we're gonna make some tweaks and make it into a mini golf game. Okay, so first off, we're gonna get rid of these extra pool balls. We don't need those. Let's take the slingshot and let's move it up into the characters menu. Then let's go into the slingshot real fast. Let's double click and go into the node map and let's grab an if collide. So we're gonna do if collide with enemy and then we're gonna get a delay. All right, let's get a delay. Let's get a defeat. This is a fun little uh, mini game. I think you're, you all are gonna enjoy it. Uh, defeat, let's do a, an event trigger. Okay, let's do a debris explosion. Debris explosion. Okay, and then we're also going to need a signal threshold and another delay. I guess we could, ju could have just made a copy of that one, but that's okay. All right, so that, looks, that all looks gravy. Now let's hook it up. So we're gonna hook this up here to the if collide, and we're going to say, we're gonna do if collide with enemy, and we're going to make the collision shape a sphere. And then we're gonna have the signal threshold right here. We'll have the defeat right there, a little delay, and then the event. So we'll do something like this and hook this up like this. Okay, here we go, do menu jump, and we'll say this is game over. Okay. Now let's uh, actually, let's hook this up to the game over instead. Um, okay, now for the debris explosion, we'll hook this up. Okay, great, now the signal threshold. This is going to make it so that when we go three times after three seconds, it's going to be defeated. So let's do the signal threshold. The threshold is going to be two. And then we're gonna do a three second delay. And then it's going to defeat the character and it's going to perform a debris explosion. And the debris explosion, let's do two seconds uh, for the debris explosion. And okay, there we go. Now let's go to our 3D world. Let's go to our asset library. Let's grab a sphere, bring it in here, double click on uh, or click on the sphere. We'll name it debris. Okay. And then we'll go into the slingshot. We'll grab that debris explosion. And now we can uh, put in the debris asset and assign it as the asset that gets sent flying. We'll do 30 of these, a total of 30 of these, and we'll do about 20 in each of the X, Y, and Z linear velocity. And then if we wanted to actually inherit the color, we also need to make this 3D model yellow as well. Um, so they, they both need to be. Um, so yeah, this one and this one. Okay, great. Now let's go to our mind map and let's go ahead and add a new UI hook it up here, add another UI, set it right there. Okay. And then this UI, we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and just call it world UI. World UI. Perfect. Let's double click in here. Let's go to event observer, throw it in, rename it, game over. This is gonna be the game over event observer. And then we'll go back to the mind map and when the game over happens, we'll get sent to the game over UI. Perfect, and then let's go in here. And then I'm going to search for a play button. 
that's going to serve as our restart button and we'll drop it in as a navigation button. I'll give you this play button um, in the download in one of the download links in the description of the video. We'll bring it down here. We'll change the function to restart. We'll call it the restart button. Restart button. Okay, perfect. And then we'll bring out a label. We'll bring out the title label and we'll call it game over. Okay, so let's go back to our three, our mind map. Okay, everything looks good. Let's add one more UI, or actually let's uh, uh, delete that one. Let's make a copy of this game over UI. And then let's go to our 3D world. We're gonna go to the asset library. We're gonna double click on this uh, twice. Okay, this cube is going to be our win cube. So this is the win block or win cube. Okay, we'll make it static and then I'm gonna make it pink for right now. Okay, and then, so to make this work, I'm gonna shift this back a little bit. To make this work, I kinda want to get rid of the ground. Um, so let's, let's get rid of this ground and then let's add in a new ground. I'm gonna double click on this, add a cube. Uh, go to the asset, asset library and add a cube. Okay, and then let's name one of the cubes ground. And then we'll go ahead and we'll make it static. We'll make the color nice and green. Let's do, let's do like clover. I like moss actually, I think. Let's bring out, let's bring out moss. Ah, you know what, let's do, let's do a little bit of a darker color. Let's do clover or, or actually, let's do moss, but let's darken it just a little bit. That's all, that's all we need to do, just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now let's shrink this down, spread this out a little bit. Okay, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here in just a little bit here, how I'm gonna put in the hole. Okay, we'll stretch this out and put it on this side, something like this. Oops, I accidentally grabbed the whole thing and slid it. Okay, let's slide that right into the wall. All right, perfect. Let's see, is this one in the wall too? Nope, not quite get that in there okay great now what I did is I went ahead and in blender I have made I made a 3d model that has a, a hole inside of a square so I'm gonna just drop that in right now as an object import it in okay great so let's go ahead let's scale it up so it's something like this get it really close to being the same size and thickness as this as we can. Okay, great. I think that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead, let's take this golf hole, let's rename it just golf hole. And then we'll make it static so it's not moving around. 3D model, we need to be the same color as the ground. It has to be the exact same color. So we, we want to go to um, the RGBs and we'll do 16-109-55. 16-109-55. Okay, 16-109-55. 16-109-55. Or you can just copy and paste the hex color, although that doesn't work on Mac for some reason. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll stretch this up just a little bit with the multi-tool and make it, and this is, this is a little bit tough, but you gotta go and make it exactly the same height. Okay, so it's 2.81, let's try 2.082, let's do 8.5, close, let's do 8.9, 8.09, Let's do 8.1 or let's do 8.2. Nope, uh, that's a little bit mo uh, much. Do 8.15. Okay, that is pretty good. As long as you can't really see a seam, that's going to be good enough. Okay, great. And then we're going to take the hole, move it over here towards the back center. Then We'll make sure that we, on the golf hole too, uh, our 3D model looks like this, but we also need to make sure the collision shape is a mesh. And then we're going to select the collision shape and make sure it's the golf hole square. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna make a couple copies of these guys and use the multi-tool to get them just right. So something like this. 
Okay, let's do another one on the other side. Okay, perfect. All right, I like it. Okay, one more for the road here. Throw that in. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so uh, we got, I wanna get rid of this old ground. Uh, we're not gonna need it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end part one right here and I will see you in part two.